Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Prime Cannavaro's uh, Prime Icon Plater. Yeah, he's an SBC that got released and I know that a lot of you guys are considering doing this dude. This guy and myself have a history. I fell in love with this card in FIFA 19. He was very good. I did not love him last year, but I played almost a thousand games in FIFA 19 with his moments card uh, in his Prime version. So I can already tell you that in that game he was great. The thing that Cannavaro offers that a lot of center backs don't offer is very, very high intelligent transi transition speed. And if you play an aggressive uh, uh, defensive style, this card is an amazing icon to have, right? He's pretty much one of the best, if not the best, uh, prime icon defender at doing that aggressive type of play style where you're kind of pushing your center backs up. You're intercepting things like that. So when we take a look at Cannavaro uh, on the market, he's 1 million coins. His SBC is 900k. But I think a lot of you guys will probably look to craft this guy um, potentially down the road for team of the year and that sort of stuff. So low high work rates, two-star skills, three-star weak foot, uh, 95 defending, 85 physical, 68 dribbling, 80 pace, 63 passing, right? So right away, the downside with Cannavaro, his passing is not out of this world. He's got solid player trait, uh, 84 acceleration, 85 agility, 82 balance, 91 reactions. That reaction stat is going to come in really handy at times. 82 composure. His defensive stats are phenomenal. Look at that. 96 interceptions, 95 defensive awareness, 95 slide ta stand tackling, 94 slide tackling, uh, 93 jumping, 87 strength, 85 aggression. So really, downsides with this card is passing is not the best. Sprint speed is also not the best. You guys could give this card a shadow. In the history of me playing with this guy, I always give him an anchor. I always, always, always give Cannavaro an anchor because for me, he's a little undersized. So when you give him that anchor, he gets jacked. He's huge, man, in game. He's got that strength, and it gives you that huge presence at the center back spot. Um, so that's something that I really keep in mind with Cannavaro. And look, I think right away, if you guys can complete this guy's SBC for 500k, you should do it because I think he's great. I'll do it. I'm going to craft this guy during team of the year. So we played him as a right center back uh, with Kunde, the legend, who is now capped over 300 games in the club. And Kleber, the showdown legend, right? So we've got those two situations going on. Obviously, we did the loan and we played five games. We ran out of contracts with him. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get into it. We played a 4 one 2 2 a 3 5 2 I'm moving all around formations because I'm trying to get used to the controller on next gen. It's very challenging for me. But it's a good display for you guys to see him defensively, how he plays, his presence, and all that kind of stuff. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop, drop a thumbs up. And uh, yeah. No, no. Cannavaro. Cannavaro. What a player. Cannavaro. The Warriors are here. Oh, that my team wants this win so bad. We got to do it, bro. They, they want the win so bad. They're fighting for the badge. Everybody right now is fighting. Yo, Cannavaro, man! Let's fucking eat, baby! There. Man, Cannavaro, give him the man of the match, dude. Oh my god, this guy has been goading. Rabona passes? He's doing Rabona passes, dude. What the hell am I seeing? Cannavaro is killing it, man. We we gotta we gotta get this guy. I have this fodder, man. I might just dish it out. Nah, Robin's frauding on that right today, man. All right, Kunde, it's your time to shine. Cannavaro, bro, this guy is crazy. He rotated all the way over? All right, let's go, Cannavaro. Oh my gosh, bro. Goaded. Literally goaded. Nice goal. That sucks, man. We made a really good tackle. This is why we had to get another goal, bro. This guy's not great, but again, we're on another controller. It's a lot more challenging to spread good attacks. It can't be on Spotify. Oh, guy is playing for the badge. Let's go.
Sus. Sus, Cannavaro. Go. Go. Courtois. Sus. Duncan. We're throwing. Kleber. Whew. With Neymar, man. I'm getting more of the hang of him. He's different than last year, bro. That's why I haven't been as good with him this year. I'm getting better with him now. He's a little different, bro. Fucking hell, bro. Prime hold it. Chip passes, bro. Come on, Kenneth, bro. Come on. Good. This guy's defense is shit. I mean, yeah, we won eight. I scored eight goals yesterday on him, so I don't think his defense is crazy. That's for sure. All right, man. Nice goal. Told you guys, man. I fucking told you guys, bro. This is FIFA 21, man. There's no skill gap. I can't get past this guy's Maldini for my life, dude. I'm going to really struggle to get a goal here. I'm already on constant pressure. Oh, my God. What is that ball, man? Wow. This is a tough one, man. This is going to be a tough pill for me to swallow if I lose this game. How's Cannavaro? Solid, bro. Oh, no. Delafue? No. Nice. I think that's off him. Was so poor man i could have done so much better there Fuck. all right boys well we gotta win this game man we gotta win this game my head is gone from the last game i still can't believe boys we beat a somebody 8-0 and we lose 2-1 to them bro i it's hurting my brain cells boys it is and we're just getting rigged in another one good Bro. Dan, have a good one, bro. Thanks for watching tonight, man. Patty, thanks for the sub, bro. Much love, dude. We are in the fucking trenches right now. Guys, I can't get over the fact that I beat some dude 8-0 and lost him today. I can't get over that, man. It's driving me crazy. Oh, this is how it's going to be. No, I missed. Fuck, man. Ugh. Pain.
go, man. Fuck you. Let's go. Composure at the highest, bro. Level, dude. That was so much composure. Man, I gotta hit that penalty with Neymar, dude. I can't miss those penalties, guys. That's so bad. This guy was a little puto, man, trying to chip me, bro. I knew he was... All right, guys. So, overall, Cannavaro, for me, is a big hit. I thought he was fantastic. I was so disappointed. You know you you know you love a player when the lone item runs out, and you're like, man, I wish I still had this. Um, the lone item ran out. That's so disappointing. So, for me, it was a great, great opportunity to see how this guy played in-game. Um, I thought there was really no negatives with this card. I thought the only negative was at times in delay, the passing on the weak foot was noticeable. Other than that, he was shutting down Mbappe... He was such an aggressive defender. I mean, he was driving the opponent crazy. I think he was giving my opponents nightmares, man, and really, really annoyed, annoying them. So for me, it's great value, especially if you can knock off the price and, and craft a little. I think you should do it, man. I think his moments card is incredible. I think this card is incredible, though. I thought he was so, so good. In terms of a value, right, like even for 900K value, I'm rating this guy like 9.1, 9.2. Now, if you could shave this card uh, cost on the SBC to like four or 500, 600K, Man, I mean, this is incredible value. It's got to be like a 9.5, 9.6. So definitely look to craft this card if you guys are doing Team of the Year upgrade packs. Very, very good. Hopefully the gameplay can also show you that, outline it. I know I can say things, but at the end of the day, the gameplay has to be the one that con uh, convinces you. And I'm not going to recommend you guys bad cards. This card is really good. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review today, the cheeky little defender center back review. Um, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you guys in a video later. Peace.